Hey, welcome to Ice Age TV, or is it Chef Age TV? Hey, here I am getting another great meal going this evening. This is the Ice Man, and I'm just getting motivated because of Gail on Gail's food and things. Really has gotten me uh, excited about her uh, food and st food and stuff. So sorry about that, Gail. Uh, but anyway, she's got me kind of excited about making meals again. That's what I'm doing. Evening. I'm going to go ahead and make some uh, really cool potato spuds where I've already cleaned them up. I've already got my little cleaner thing, got all the frickin' um, skin off the potato. And now I'm going to chop them all up and I'm going to make this into a, a like a french fries, but on the potatoes they're going to be more roundish. So I'm working on that right now. And I'm getting creative on the hamburgers and kind of thinking about what I do with that. But first thing is I'm going to chop up all these potatoes into what I call the potato spuds, like french fries. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so here, just uh, cut up my zucchini, got my squash, I'm gonna get a little creative, put some green beans in, try to get some fabric into the meal tonight, besides just like all meat, and have our staples. So, can do that. I'm gonna get a little creative too, and I'm gonna heat the oil up, and then I'll put this in the pan with the oil already preheated so it gets a little faster cooking I think a little bit better cooking versus putting the oil in this than waiting for everything to get heated up okay so got rain kind of sucks tonight but it is what it is but you see what I'm doing I'm, I'm heating up this oil and sure it's very dangerous but my theory is this product this oil is so expensive and I think I can get more accomplished with getting that oil heated up and getting things put in there. And yeah, am I going to have to have like tongs, thongs, tongs to put it in? I will. But as you know, this olive oil, you know, this is, this is now like close to 50 bucks, 40 to $50. And so it gets very expensive of actually using all these oils, the butter. And is my theory working? It is. So it's raining out, so you're hearing the rain hit the oil. <laughs> but hey, I'll trudge on. But here, here it is. So this actually works. I like this idea that I can take these here with my tongs, thongs, what do you want to call it? And uh, and I can cook. So I think that's a better way to cook this because it's like at the restaurants, you're watching cook the french fries. They're getting so much hotter. A lot of times I just have this whole pan full of oil, and it doesn't really do that good a job. Plus, you're using so much product that it's uh, very challenging, you know, to justify how much money you spent to make these potato spuds. I call them the potato spuds. That's my word. I think that's all I'm going to do right now, and I'm going to cover it all back up and get the water off of it, and then get this out of the, the water and see how that first, first batch goes. I'm going to switch up a little bit. I'm not going to cook the onions because I think you have a choice to put that on your hamburger. I'm going to slice up some tomatoes and then I'm going to refrigerate that so they're nice and cold as I make the rest of the meal. Tonight's going to kind of be simple. Basically hamburgers, potato spuds, the vegetables, and uh, maybe have some hot dogs as well as an option. I'm not going to get too extravagant tonight just because there's a lot of material and I think it'll be more than enough. And voila, I've got my tomatoes here. And once again, I'm going to throw them in the refrigerator so they're nice and cold. So they'll be savory for later. I just put my hamburger meat out just because I think it's a good idea for it to kind of get, not really room temperature, but just to kind of get a refrigerator, start making it. But you know, I'm concerned now. I think I better get outside and check on my um, potatoes because I'm cooking them a different way for the first time where I literally heated the oil all up first and I'm just concerned that it's maybe already burning so let's find out here hopefully not well, not too bad there see that so that's the water from the rain that's creating that noise so anybody here watching the channel let's see how it's going on here so you know making like potatoes that's like an art McDonald's has for sure mastered. Probably turn the heat up a little bit and the uh, things are sticking together. I don't like that, but oh well. Uh, 
There you go. Got my idea. How's it working out, right? So I'm going to turn his heat up a little bit because uh, I think he needs more. And we are making progress. I've got the hamburgers. Yeah, I guess he's thinking, yeah, I want a hamburger, Daddy. So I've got the hamburgers now made. I mean, this is the Costco. I mean, this is really good meat. It really is nice, but it's just so much product. So now I package it up and kind of seal it in a bag and get all the air out so it lasts longer. And then it turns into chili or spaghetti, sometimes more hamburgers. But for me, I would have more than happy to pay basically a third of the price today for this meat versus what I had to pay to get here. But now my little trick to me making meat is, which some people will be against it, but I'm for it, I use the salt. So I put a lot of salt in the meat to really flavor it. But once again, a lot of other people will be like, nah, I don't want to do that because maybe your sodium levels are just too much for you. But that's, for me, I think a great way to get the uh, really the taste out of meat. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, here it is. So I just salted the uh, hamburgers. Like I say, some people may not be excited about that, but it gives it a lot more flavor. And I do that, and some, I just I just love that. That's I think it's a key to making really good meat. And back to the grill in the rain. <laughs> yeah, not rain real hard, but it's just that thing. So here we go. Look at that. That's kind of what I was looking for right there. Kind of get that french fry look. What do you think, huh? I think I'm accomplishing it. So I think doing just a little bit at a time is going to be the way to go here. So you can see all that there. And I'll put the... Uh, the zucchini and the squash and the green beans and the onions and that next. And there are the potato spuds. They're really hot. And I'll definitely salt them, but I really like Old Bay, but some people don't like Old Bay. So I'll just set up a little separate tray for me for my Old Bay seasoning to see how that tastes. So I'm gonna take these out now. The dogs are behaving, not eating all my food, which that's dangerous for walking out of this room and hoping it's still here. All right. Has this cooled off enough for me to taste it yet? Let's see here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Tastes like a french fry. No, it tastes like a potato chip. Mmm. <laughs> Not even seasoned. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Seasoned this? Wow. Okay, so I made my own little Old Bay seasoning. Let's see if I did okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's really good. Wow. That's great. I'm going to have to grill a little hotter for those oils to really get them to cook really well. Because you can see on this first batch... Most everything's good, but there's a few that's still just a little not cooked all the way through. So I'm going to cook a little longer in the next batch and run the heat up a little more. Kids coming home to eat dinner. Would you come home to eat dinner? So what do we do now? Well, I'm going to get the flies from the house and have the damn doors open. I'm going to close them. And yeah, I cranked this thing up. It's dangerously hot right now, so uh, I can be very careful. But that's the whole thing about those oils. If you have really hot, you just have a hard time cooking stuff. Let's see how bad it is. Look at that. Okay. How about that idea, huh? I could probably take a spoon and be more efficient. I think I'm going to do that. I think that's a better idea. we be right back. This time around, on the vegetables, I'm just going to cook them all at the same time. I want it to be a little more of a dry type of... Uh, cooking and the potatoes doing great so all right raining wow all right get all the condiments out and the wife says she wants some uh, hot dogs just for the backup for eating she likes them cooked and she can have them for leftovers we just love leftovers now question is do we have the pretzel burgers or do we have the brioche burger buns debatable on that right Okay, look at this here. Wow, wow, wow. So the bread gal, um, bakery woman owned. Look at this here. How cool. Got this thing really sealed up really well. These things look delicious. 
And I looked at the date in the box. That's what I always do when I go shopping. You always gotta check and make sure you get the right. This has a 10, 11, October 11th removal date from the shelf. So what's really cool is this has not been sitting around a long time. Anytime you go to the store, you really should check these packages because it has the dates on them to tell you when they're expiring. And if you're not careful, here's like 10-2. If you're not careful, you get a package that's expiring like the next day or so. So you've really got really old food already before you even bring it home. Now one downside to making your own potato chips, it takes so much product of oils and your heat. I mean, it's a lot of money. And at the end of the day, you're probably, we spend the same amount of money buying a bag of chips than your propane, your oils, potatoes, and it takes forever. So I mean, I've started this project at like quarter to five. And look what time it is. <laughs> It'll be probably 6.45 before we're sitting down to eat. And that's the thing. And anybody who cooks a lot, they know. It's a lot of preparation, a lot of work to make nice meals. And as it's raining, the rains aren't supposed to come in until tomorrow. So, but we need them. That's for sure. Now, last night, it was a beautiful evening. Had the whole deck set up, the, the umbrella out. And it was just a really nice evening for us. Tonight, we'll have to be inside. Or I'll be out in the barn in the man cave eating, which I do that a lot. Now that's probably pretty smart. They don't slice these buns. They probably hold more moisture. So really cool. These things look delicious. I'll be amazed if these things are just the nicest buns that I've had here recently. So uh, you have to spice it with your nice bread cutter. And I think it's time to put the hammers on. I'm going to tone down the grill on the left side here a little bit. Keep the right side blasting still. We get the hammers on the grill because it's going to be a long night. And the kid will be home anytime and be like, where's the food, daddy-o? And be like, it's right here. So I'm putting a little bigger stuff in the back. It seems like the bigger, the, the more heat area is the back area. So we're doing okay. How about that, right? Now, the biggest challenge you're cooking is keeping your area clean. That's your challenge. Just go check on the food here. Flip the burgers. Man, it's humid. I'm going to turn the AC on these window units. And, uh, back into the rain. How are we doing? How are we doing? Wow, potatoes looking good. Look at the hammers. See if I did it about right. Probably could go a little longer because they're not really just like coming apart. Let me give a few more minutes on that and turn it down a little bit for us. I think the vegetables are doing good. Kind of stir them around. A little too much oil though. I should have gone a lot lighter on the oil so it's a little more dry. You can always drain it. I think the uh, potatoes, potato spuds are doing great. They're getting really cooked really well. By the time the hammers are done, that'll be really well done. It'll be really good. On the rainy even, rainy even on Chef Age TV. Chef in the new direction, Chef Age TV. Uh oh, yikes. Can you stand it? I'll be starting buying grills. And I'll be doing my grill demonstrations of what's the better grill. The grill master, yeah, that won't be me. <laughs> I'm pretty damn accurate. I said 645. Let's see how it's looking. Oh, yeah, potato spuds are perfect. I threw the hot dogs on for the wife. The zucchini and all the green beans. And uh, I think this is all going to come together and look pretty good. We'll find out here shortly. But I'm going to start taking the potatoes off the grill here and transfer them over. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that there, huh? Hammers are looking really good, delicious. Last on the hot dogs. The water's hitting all the oil. So it's noisy, but we're good to go. Wow. And wham, bam, done. Wow, I'm really hungry. I want to eat. So this is it. I'm not going to put the mayonnaise or the ketchup or the mustard or any of the Old Bay on their food. It's all ready to go. And let's go have something to eat. 
I think this really turned out really well. But let's find out if the kid, the wife, and I, and anybody else likes it. So, as always, stay tuned for the impressions of how I cooked. I'll ask the daughter and wife. Stay tuned. What do you think? I love it. Oh, there you go. She even tastes it. She says she loves it. Oh, well. It's amazing, Dad. Thank you. I did all right? Better than McDonald's? <laughs> the hardest part is the chef able to eat. Yeah. So I finally cleaned up the kitchen. That's the thing. They cook. Cleaning up is a lot of work. So I cleaned all, everything up. But I haven't even eaten. Everybody else is eating. But now the chef gets to eat. So, always, thanks so much for watching my channel. Appreciate all the comments, support. Subscribe, share the channel. I like to share my fun, what I know and I don't know, and I learn things from you, just like from Gail. Gail's food and stuff. Check her channel out. It's a great channel. And she got me motivated to start cooking. So, hell, you guys out there, watch Gail's food and stuff. You just may realize you can cook as well and take care of the wife. I just fixed my wife, my daughter, a great meal, and they're happy as can be. And, hey, happy wife, happy life. God bless. Have a great evening.